Hi, welcome to the very first episode of The Road to 300. My name is Mike Kenobi, and for my whole life I've been severely overweight. And just recently, not two weeks ago at this point, I had gastric bypass surgery. Um, again, literally I've been overweight my entire life. It's something that I've always struggled with. And uh, at different points in my life, I tried different ways to lose weight, whether it was uh, several brilliant personal trainers, uh, natural path, Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, any sort of organized diet that you can think of, I tried. And uh, it always, I always ended up coming to the same roadblock, which was a plateau. And for whatever reason, I could never seem to get past that. And so a few years ago at this point, I was really, really started looking into and thinking about different um, medical and surgical options because unfortunately that's how my brain and my body works is sometimes I need those hard set rules and the brilliant part about gastric bypass is sure there are ways to cheat and there are ways to go against what they tell you to do but ultimately you suffer you suffer from this thing called dumping syndrome which is pretty much exactly what it sounds like the food travels so quickly through you um, and you end up feeling this really this real discomfort and that food's got to leave one way or the other whether it's through like diarrhea or through throwing up and so that's how I learned the best and um, fortunately enough for me I was able to get worked on by some of the most renowned uh, surgeons in the country um, and I thank them every time that I see them for saving my life um, the surgery itself went great um, it was actually a very short procedure I was only in surgery for just over an hour um, and recovery besides one day uh, the Saturday directly following my surgery has been a breeze uh, Saturday I thought I was going to die uh, but that was because of a whole list of different complications that I will get into in a future episode but for episode number one I just really want to hammer home what this show is about and what you can expect from me uh, I don't want the format to get stagnant and I want to do different things every time uh, I am a full-time filmmaker and so uh, the production quality and all things uh, on the technical side I want to constantly be improving and changing and tweaking and uh, sometimes you can expect conversations just like this one where we're kind of just like standing in my apartment Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. That's a guys. Put it all away. Oh my god. Yeah, so again, this whole show is a conversation. It's I want as much interaction obviously as humanly possible. Um, and it's not just about weight loss, it's about my life journey in general. Uh, again, I am a full-time filmmaker. I have a very exciting project coming up uh, in the next few months that uh, I'm excited to be able to share with you, the audience. And um, the whole reason I got the surgery, the whole reason I wanted to get healthy is just for a better quality of life. Um, not to get graphic, but like my favorite part about this YouTube series, the fact that I do get to be honest with you and I was tired of having to say no to so many things strictly because of my weight. I was tired of my life being impacted on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, even now, like on the road to 300, I've lost 70 pounds as of today, just shy of four weeks uh, starting my liquid diet and everything. Um, but I still got a long way to go. Uh, I keep saying still fat, but not as fat. But um, it is a journey and uh, I'm excited to take it. And in the surgery, even though it was in my stomach, I feel like a lot of it was in my brain as well. Um, through like the different meetings and things that I've been going to, I've been able to have a whole new relationship with food. Uh, before I was obsessed with it. Uh, I was an eater for every reason, for emotional, just because uh, nothing was in moderation. Um, and I just don't have that anymore. My stomach can hold anywhere from like two to four ounces. So that's really, really not a lot. I mean, I don't have time to be hungry and I really don't get cravings like I used to and I still love food like which is a shock to some people and it's a constant battle slash conversation with like friends and family of like oh we don't want to eat this around you we don't want to talk about this around you but like I can't say enough like my whole mindset on food is so much different now so I can say like oh pizza sounds awesome 
but I know I can't have it anymore. Sorry, jeez, I'm so like burpy, but all part of post-op. Um, gosh, pizza sounds so good right now, but a month ago, or like a couple months ago, I would think that, and then I would immediately go out and then demolish an entire large pizza by myself. But now I can go, oh, I, I, that sounds really good, but I don't want it. Like it doesn't, it sounds good, but it doesn't, if that makes sense. Like the part of my brain, like it just, I know that it'll make me sick and I know it's something that I can't have. And so like, it's really not something that I miss. Um, but yeah, again, I am rambling on here and I don't want to keep you guys too much longer, uh, especially for episode one. But again, just, in, just so you know, in the future, like, these episodes will be different. They will be constantly evolving. And I really want to hear from you. I really want to hear like, what is it that you want to see? What is it that you want to hear? Um, I will be getting into like stories about surgery and what I did for my liquid diet, what I'm doing now when you see this, I'll be on my puree stage. So what am I doing for that? Um, do you guys want to see recipes and different things that I've been doing to survive the liquid diet and to um, survive the puree stage? Do you want me to strictly do vlog style? Do you like this one-on-one -on -one conversation? How much of my film and professional life do you want me to get into? I just want to be honest with you guys. So uh, again, this is short. I hope it was sweet. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode one. I hope it did not disappoint. And uh, I'll see you guys on Instagram for my daily walks. And uh, yeah, like, favorite, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon, all that fun stuff. Thanks for tuning in. Hashtag road to 300. All right, fam, I uh, just want to say uh, thank you to everybody. Uh, it's been an absolute dream. Uh, this set has gone remarkably smooth. Um, and just this whole journey of two years at NIFA, like, I, again, I cannot thank all of you enough. Um, thank you to my dad for flying all the way down from Washington. Uh, Veronica for fucking killing it uh, since the fucking audition, like, blowing us all away. Um, Shoddy on DP, thank you so much. Uh, Kelsey, for helping me with all the odds and ends shit and dealing with my fucking grumpy ass when <laughs> nobody else gets to see that fucking stupid shit. Uh, thank you all again so much, and uh, that's a wrap on Deadpan, day one. All right, all right be there! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! All right. All right, and uh, thank you, Peter. All right, all right, uh, let's pack it all up, and uh, Get this shit back to NIFA. You want to pull uh, that brown? What? You want to pull the brown? Please, please. Thank you, sorry. It's been an honor. Thank you. Veronica. Howdy, you're great. Thank you. Thank How do you feel? Awesome. Awesome. Okay. awesome. I mean, again, it was like remarkably calm, very peaceful. Uh, I mean, I don't know, from talent to crew, it's been a dream. So. Yeah, I need to be. Oh, wait for a second.